Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the ACT. We have been solving ACT math problems out of this book here, the official ACT prep guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are the problem rather the uh, the problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 164. Please turn to it, page number 164, and today is our lesson number two. Listen, before we get into this problem, there were a couple of words that we came across, vocabulary words that we came across yesterday, and I forgot to get, tell you where to find those words in which vocabulary videos. So I'm going to tell you right now. The word cognizant cognizant was one word which which means to be fully aware of something, to be conscious of something. What I said is that is okay, not only it is okay, but it is recommended. It is a wise idea to actually approximate your answers in the exam. It's okay to do that as long as, but the condition is that you have to be always, at all time, you have to be cognizant of whether you are underestimating or overestimating. You cannot just approximate willy-nilly uh, without having any clue as to what you're doing. You have to know whether you, as a result of your approximation, the answer that you're going to find, is, a, is that answer going to be an underestimation? Or is it going to be an overestimation? Is the correct answer going to be slightly more than that answer, the one that you arrived at? Or is the correct answer should be a little bit less than that answer? You must always know that. Do you understand? You have to be cognizant of whether you're underestimating or overestimating. The word digress is something that we covered on day number three, and advance is something that we learned on day number nine. Just type in ACT vocabulary words, day nine, and it will pop right up. In order, it is something that I have not covered yet in any, any of the videos. Problem number four is what we are about to do, and here's the problem. It says that I have taken four tests, I took four tests, and my scores are as follows. 65 I got on the first exam, then I got 73, 81, and 82. The question is, what do I need to get? What do I need to get on the fifth exam, on the fifth test, to have an overall average of 80? I want an overall average of 80. That's my goal. I want the average score of 80 on these five exams. What do I need to get on the fifth one to get the 80? There are two ways you can solve this problem, and most students I, that, that, that you will see, they will sit there and solve it in a very classical way, uh, like a good schoolboy or schoolgirl, and, 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 and do it all the classical work, all the traditional work, like this, for example. First thing, first thing they will do is they will add up all the scores, 73, 81, 82, and that's 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 1, carry 1, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 16, so 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, and this is 14, 16 plus 8, 16 plus 14 is 30, so it's 301. So that's the first thing we have to do, that takes time, obviously it doesn't come out of the blue, it doesn't have fall from the sky, it takes a few seconds to figure it out, and then you have the equation, which is the score that you're going to get in the fifth exam, which is, let's call it x, and x plus what you have earned so far, the points that you have earned so far, they have to add, they, they, they have to, add up to uh, in such a way that your overall average is 80 and if your overall average in a 5 exam is 80 which means your total must be 80 times 5 and of course that is 400 and therefore x is going to be 400 minus 301 which is 99 there is nothing wrong with this way it's, it's perfectly fine it's perfectly proper if this is if this is what you want to do this is a very classical way very traditional way very orthodox way very geeky way very nerdy way very academic way you don't have to do it this way. I'm going to show you a quicker way. And if you don't like the quicker way, or if you feel that the so-called quicker way is not really quick, then you can just ignore it. But it doesn't hurt to broaden your perspective. You do not have to agree with the other person, but at least you have to understand the other person's perspective. That's what it is. Math problem, there is not just one right or wrong way of solving a, solving a math problem. Different people look at it from a different point of view. And as long as they all arrive at the same answer, that's what matters. So here's what it is. Look, I'm not... It, in, the, in the approach, in the non-traditional approach, the quick and dirty way that I'm going to show you, we don't have to figure out the sum. Okay, watch what happens. Just listen to me and watch what happens. There are four scores, 65, 73, 81, and 82. I want, I want the overall score of 80. I want the average of 80, and here's my fifth, fifth exam, which is the empty slot. Did I get 80 on the first exam? No, I did not get 80 on the first exam. I would have liked to get 80 on the first exam. Had I gotten 80, 80, 80, and 80, had I gotten 80 points on each of the first four exam, then all I needed on the, first, on the fifth exam is also 80, and I would have been all set. I did not get my target. I was 15 points short. I was 15 points short. I have a deficiency of 15 points. Did I get 80 here? No, no. I have a deficiency of 7 points. 
Did I get 80 here? Of course I did. I get more than that. I have a surplus of 1. Did I get 80 here? Of course I have a surplus of 2. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. A negative 4 and negative 15 is negative 19. So I have a deficiency. I have a deficiency of 19 points. And of course, this is silly. This is this part is silly. Of course, in the real exam, I'm not going to spend my precious second writing it all out. You just have to realize that you got a deficiency of 19 points. You have to make up those 19 points. You have to make up those 19 points in the last exam if you want to have an overall average of 80. And of course, you have to get 80 points in the last exam to carry itself. So the last exam, you have to carry it. It has to carry itself uh, 80 points for itself, and it has to make up. 19 more points because of the fact that you were short 19 points in the first four exams. There you go, you're done. 80 plus 19 is your 99. Do you understand? Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Just give me one second. Let's do one more. So this time you're going to take five exams. And the question is, what do I need to get on the sixth exam? I'm going to take five exams and here are my scores. I have taken five exams and my scores on the five exams were 37, 42, 30, 43 and 49. The question is, what do I need to get on the sixth exam if I want an overall average of 40? And watch what happens. It should take no more than a few seconds. It's very simple. It's very simple. Now, had I, had I not written, uh, let's do it on the bottom here. I have to rewrite everything. 37, 42, 30, 43, and 49. We're not going to do the traditional method at all. As you can see, doing the traditional method here, it's going to take even longer because there are five of them. You have to first add them up and you have to do all this mumbo jumbo. Let's do it together, shall we? I'm on, uh, my target was 40. The bullseye was 40. My target was 40 points. Did I get 40 points on the first exam? No, I did not. I have a deficiency of three points. I have to make up those three extra points in the last exam. I have to make up that deficiency in the last exam to make up for the fact that I was three points short in the first exam. I have a surplus here of two points. I have a deficiency of 10 points. I have a surplus of 3 points. And finally, I have a surplus of 9 points. Watch what happens. And again, even this part, you do not have to add everything up. Watch what happens. I see a negative 3, I see a positive 3. They cancel each other out. The fact that I got 3 points on, more on this exam than I wanted, and the fact that I got 3 points less than my target, these two, they, they wash each other out. They play no role in our story. They play no role. So that's it. We're done. 2 plus 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. Here and here I have a deficiency of 10, which means I have a surplus of 1 point actually. I have a positive 11 and negative 10, I have a surplus of 1. So what do I need to get in the, for, on the last exam? I want an overall average of 40, I have a surplus of 1, so I can get away with taking a 39 points. As long as I get 39 points on the last exam, I meet my target. That's it, we are done. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Again, we're going to take five exams and our scores are as follows. Sixty-seven, sixty-two, sixty-nine, fifty-nine, and fifty-two. Question is, what do I need to get on the sixth exam if I have any hope of getting an average score of sixty? Well, let's find out, shall we? We have a sixty-seven, a sixty-two, a 69, a 59, a 52, and here is our last exam that we are going to try and figure out. Now, now, this question is so simple that you're probably done doing it as I'm speaking. It only takes a few seconds. It takes 5, 10, 15 seconds at the most. It's very simple. I have a surplus of 7, a surplus of 2, a, a surplus of 9, a deficiency of 1, and a deficiency of 8. Make sure I, make sure I did not make any boo-boo. 
Because if you get the wrong answer, this is where the mistake is going to happen. Make sure you do the proper job. I'm 8 point short, 1 point short, I have a surplus of 9, plus 9, a negative 1 and negative 8, negative 1 and negative 8 is negative 9, and I have a positive 9. These three exams play no roles. These three exams play no role because the average on those three exams is exactly 60. These are the only two that matter. I have a surplus of 2 here, I have a surplus of 7 here, I have a surplus of 9 points, which means I don't have to get a 60 points in the last exam, I can get 60 minus 9. As long as I get 51 points in the last exam, I should be all set. Everything should be, as we say in the desert, hunky-dory. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.